In this episode of Gas Diesel Garage, Jack blows up a Freightliner tire, assesses the aftermath, and then teaches you how to use a life-saving tool. If you guys drive a newer Freightliner Cascadia like this one, you know that these things are equipped with a TPMS sensor. If you ever have to change your tire or get your tire changed, make sure they do this. not a satellite phone I promise you actually this tool reads the serial number off of the sensors that are inside the tire now if you had your tire replaced somewhere and they didn't switch the sensors over you pretty much screwed so what we're gonna do is go up to each tire and see if we can read the serial number off of each sensor and the one that's in question which is the left rear I don't think it's got a sensor in it because something would be reading but this radio controlled, uh, you know, serial sensor or something, it'll tell me if it's got a sensor in it or not. Okay, we're in J Pro, and I want to show you right here. It does trigger a code for no reception for the tire sensor. Now, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Bendix Smart Tire Standalone TPMS. Uh, module if you will so we're gonna click on that okay click on that and some stuff's gonna pop up oh there we go look got no signal from that TPMS sensor on that left rear axle that third axle so let's find out why it's not reading all right now this is the one that's in question but I know there's one in here so let's turn this on See if I can show you what I'm talking about. See this thing right here? It looks like a little radar. Well, we're gonna hold this up to the tire and then we should be able to get a serial number or ID number off of it. So let's go down here. All right, let's hold it up. There we go. Alrighty, that one's got a one in it. That's what we're looking for when we go to this next tire. Let's go to the next tire. Let's go ahead and try this again. Alrighty, that means that there is no sensor in this tire. Okay, looks like we're swapping tires out. We do this again. Oh, guess it does have one in there. <laughs> so essentially, there's three ways that you can tell if your tire has a sensor in it or not. Number one, the dashboard is going to not show you anything. And then number two is if you have access to a laptop under the J Pro and the section that says Bendix or the check, not check engine, I'm sorry, the uh, code will show up for uh, no reception like I showed you earlier. And here's the third way, right there. That little tool right here. Okay, now that we're able to read a new sensor on a new tire, we need to take that and write it into the system. So what we're gonna do next is go right on into here and launch the Bendix system. And let that boot up right a second. Now what we're gonna do is, we don't know what ECU it is, so we're just gonna detect the ECU.
Alrighty, we are working with the FLC 20. So let's go ahead and do the launch. And let that connect too. Alrighty, we're in there like swimwear. Okay, let's make sure our numbers match. Alrighty. Now all we gotta do is just press this assign button. Right, and it is in there. Okay, once you see the new number in there, highlighted, you're gonna come right down here to write the it into the ECU. There we go. All right. Configuration has successfully been written into the ECU. Now you can just uh, exit out all that stuff. There we go. Okay. Now we can just go ahead and check our work, go back to monitor, and see there's no more red. So there should be no more faults, and it should show up on the dashboard now. So that's how you write the IDs into the Bendix system. All right, we got success. They're all reading. Of course, we need to top off the PSI, of course.